You've all heard that a noun is a person, a place, a thing, or an idea. That's true. We can describe nouns in all kinds of different ways. They can be concrete, abstract, singular, plural, collective, common, and proper. Now that's a lot of words, but it's not as important as what nouns are. But we can use those designations to help us figure out if we have a noun. So when we're looking for nouns in sentences, we're looking for one of those first four things. We're looking for a person, a place, a thing, or an idea. Let's talk about the first one. A person can be a proper noun, like George Washington, or a common noun like president. Let's look at an example. George Washington was the first president of the United States of America. Can you find the nouns? Let's see. George Washington is a person. There was a real human being with that name. Therefore, George Washington is a noun. Now because it stands, George Washington stands for someone specific, we call it a proper noun, but it's still a noun. This word president is also a person, but because it stands for a whole bunch of different people, we call it a common noun, but still a noun. Now remember, we said a noun is a person, a place, a thing, or an idea. We've talked about person. Let's talk about place. A place is also a noun. Let's look at this example one more time. The United States of America, the United States of America is a place. Because it's a specific place, we call it a proper noun. Still a noun. Here's another example. I walked around the beautiful city with my kangaroo on a leash. In this example, city is also a place. Because it's not named, we call it a common noun, but it's still a noun. Now, nouns are persons, nouns are places, nouns are also things. Let's look at this example again. Kangaroo is a thing, as is leash. Both are nouns. Since you can touch a kangaroo or a leash, we call them concrete nouns. To figure out if something is a noun, close your eyes and see if you can recognize the word with any of your senses. Can you see it? Can you touch it? Can you smell it? Can you hear it? Can you taste it? If so, it's a noun. Last but not least, ideas are nouns. Let's look at another example. Maurice, who believed in peace, ended the fight. First of all, we have Maurice, clearly a person and therefore a noun. Second, we have that word peace. Peace is an idea. It's something we can only imagine. Because we can't experience it with our senses, we call it an abstract noun, but it's still just a noun. Again, these descriptions aren't all that important unless you are stumped. Third, we have that word fight. This is a thing and therefore a noun. One more example. My favorite team, the Milwaukee Brewers, played a great game on Monday in Cincinnati. Let's see. Team is a noun. Because that one word stands for a whole bunch of people, we call it a collective noun. Can you think of any others? How about Senate, Choir, and Jury? I'm sure you could come up with a whole bunch of them if you tried. Milwaukee Brewers is the proper noun for my favorite baseball team. Therefore, it's a noun. Game is a thing. Therefore, a noun. Monday is an idea, a noun. And Cincinnati is a place, a noun. So you see, it's possible to have all different types of nouns in a sentence. They're everywhere.